Do you know your Great Lakes lore? Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Superior, and Champlain? For a brief period in 1998, Lake Champlain was legally one of the Great Lakes. It's kind of like how they tried to come up with a fifth Ninja Turtle and it's just like, oh, they've always been here. Lake Champlain, the Jenica of the Great Lakes. Lake Champlain sits between New York, Vermont, and Montreal. It's roughly the same size as Lake St. Clair by volume. You could fit 20 Lake Champlains into Lake Erie. That's not even our best Great Lake. It's the smallest one. In 1998, Congress extended a federal program that funded the conservation of Great Lakes and ocean states, those regions. Like, I'm sure like Lake Champlain's a Great Lake, but it, it's not a Great Lake. But it was briefly. For that, you can blame Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy. He was the guy in the dark night that sold the Joker. We won't be intimidated by thugs. This is not a joke. I'm dead serious. Leahy changed the reauthorization to define Lake Champlain as one of the Great Lakes. Also not a joke. This change gave Vermont and New York access to federal conservation funds that were reserved for states that border the Great Lakes or the oceans. People are not thrilled. The change was reversed within three weeks. However, access to those federal funds remained. The Lake Champlain Sea Grant Program is funded through that federal program to this day. Lake Champlain, the Shem Powered of the Great Lakes. Lake Champlain, the D'Angelo Vickers of the Great Lakes. Cousin Oliver of the Great Lakes. The Green Power Ranger, John Doggett. 